as part of uh, data bricks certified associate developer uh, course uh, for spark that we are having in this playlist uh, so the next topic uh, in this video will be discussing about apache spark uh, narrow transformations so this is one of the important topic uh, from the certification point of view and also from the understanding point of view so we would recommend you to please concentrate and uh, comment in the comment section if you have any doubts on these topics right so before getting started if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed for this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications so let's get started so quickly we would recommend you to please pause uh, a moment here and uh, read through these important instructions and then you can proceed to the next uh, topics. So in this uh, course, uh, this is mo uh, mostly a theoretical uh, video so that we are uh, explaining. We want to explain in the what is the concept of narrow transformation. It is very important to understand theoretically first before we are getting practically understanding these concepts. So uh, in this course, in this video, we will uh, mostly understand the theoretical part of narrow transformation and when exactly in which kind of actions it is applied. So when you take uh, spark narrow transformation, uh, like uh, you might be applying any filter, any actions for that matter, right? Uh, we are taking example of filter here. So there is a, uh, this is a parent data frame and this is a child data frame which is derived from the parent data frame after getting the after applying the filter. So this is like a day, a day of month uh, transaction date less than 10. So we're applying some kind of filter using some uh, function here. And once the, the filter is applied on the parent uh, data frame, you'll be able to derive the child data frame. So the child data frame will hold the, uh, uh, will, will hold the filtered records from the parent data frame so that's how the filtering works but the important concept here is to understand uh, the concept of uh, how exactly this is getting uh, the trans uh, transformed right so here as you can see so this is a concept of dependency right so we are exactly i mean the child data frame is exactly dependent on the parent data frame so that is why the spark narrow transformation is also called as narrow dependency that means uh, you, the child is dependent narrowly on top of the parent. So how exactly it is, right? So you can see here each and every partition. So whatever the boxes that rectangular uh, inner boxes that we are showing here, these are nothing but the partition in a data frame. So that is how uh, the logically the data is stored uh, and uh, you will be able to understand like how exactly this parent is getting transformed to child. So when you when you kind of understand the narrow transformation concept, right? So narrow is nothing but each partition in the parent will derive to a single partition in the child. That means there is no shuffling here. That means uh, so you are not uh, deriving one data frame for the child using multiple uh, partitions from the parent. So one partition is one to one partition basically. Right. Uh, say for example, you are filtering, right? So to ap apply the filter operation, that is a transaction date, you don't need to shuffle here because first you apply this, uh, uh, the filter on the first partition. Similarly, you apply on the second partition. Maybe it's a parent, uh, maybe it is a sequential or uh, uh, parallel. So that depends uh, based on how the distributed uh, cluster and how the configurations is depend uh, dependent on that. However, end of the day it is one to one right so one uh, partition of a, ch a child data frame is always derived from the only one data frame of the parent so that's clear and what kind of filters i mean what kind of uh, actions that's uh, that uh, constitutes to a narrow transformation at a high level you can think of filter right and select map flat map map partition and union so this is how uh, i mean you can imagine right so if to apply filter why do we need to shuffle to apply select why do i need to apply uh, uh, shuffling right and to perform union why do i need to apply shuffling right because now we have one parent data frame you might have one, one one more parent data frame 
However, so this is one to one. So these three are constituting to three and another another three uh, data frames, right? So uh, end of the day, it is like uh, if, parent, if first parent is having three and second parent, parent is having parent, parent is having another three partitions, so the child will have six partition one to one map with both the parents. So that so logically you can understand uh, even union is a narrow transformation. So other uh, detailed topics we will uh, explore and. Uh, how this is why these are narrow transformation and we will see those in the practically in the upcoming videos so what we uh, the what we are trying to show here is the transformation transform data without any shuffle is involved so that is a definition of narrow transformation we, to keep it simple right so you can find uh, many kind of definition for narrow transformation but uh, to keep it simple so this is a transformation which does the transformation of data without any shuffle involved shuffle means we are talking about the shuffling of partitions so finally spark narrow transformation uh, if you want to consider right child data frame will have the same number of same number partition as the parent because it doesn't have any shuffle involved right and it is easy to compute on failures because it is one to one and there is no dependency and uh, it is having the same number of partition as parent so it's whenever in case of any cluster failures or any kind of failure it is uh, easy to Recompute compared to the other kind of like broad transformation or broadcast transformation, etc. So here no shuffles is required, so it is comparatively faster because when you are when you are having a shuffles, right? So again, when you do shuffle, it is also a compute when uh, so Spark has to compute this shuffling and how exactly after shuffling how to merge the data and all those things will come here. So here there is no shuffling, so there is no merging, right? So it is one to one always, so it is a simpler kind of transformation. Hope uh, you are able to understand theoretically what exactly the narrow, narrow transformation we are talking about, right? And if the theoretical part is clear in the upcoming videos, we will see the uh, some practice uh, and with the, some code we will try to play around. Hope this was useful.